Professor Pete here, class in session, LSC. We're getting pretty good at these intros, I think. We are continuing our tour of Bangkok. This is part two. Is it really a major tour though? Yeah, maybe, I don't know. We're not gonna hit most of the touristy spots. 48 hours in Bangkok for non-tourists. How about that? We're gonna spend some time walking around in air-conditioned spots, hit, hit up some malls, check out some art. And of course, we will go to one touristy spot. We'll go to Khao San Road. For those of you who don't know where Bangkok is and where Thailand is in general, it is in Southeast Asia right here. Uh, sandwiched between uh, Cambodia, Vietnam, Myanmar, Laos, India's over here, China's just a little bit above. Southeast Asia, Philippines over here. So anyways, TMI. Let's have a look at the city and where we're going. Uh, we're gonna hit up some malls along this very, very famous Sukhumvit line right here. This is Terminal 21. M Quartier is the other new mall that's over here. There's an even more newer, newer mall, <laughs> which is uh, right over here, but the, there's no mass transit to get there. So it's kind of a pain right now to get there. Uh, some of the places we'll go to, uh, places that you should go to, what Arun and Grand Palace, like I said, there'll be some videos for that. Chang Chui, also very cool, Insta-worthy photo op spot. You gotta get there by taxi though. And of course, the very, 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 very famous Khao San Road is right over here. The major backpacker spot. Have a little surprise in between, but uh, let's make a move. So this is one of the condos I rented out. Uh, this is stuff you should always drink, by the way. That's to tell you right now. It's good for your stomach uh, because, I don't know, for some reason, I'm not sure what's the water or something here, or maybe just the spiciness or the types of bacteria in the food. It gets you sick pretty fast. It's called, call it traveler's diarrhea, but it's, it's definitely real here. And it usually hits you after by the second or third day. Your body just, just can't get acclimated to it. How does everybody, uh, especially if you eat street food, but that's just the best stuff you can get anyway. So maybe it's worth shelling out a buck so you can drink this. You don't drink the whole thing, of course, just some of it. Anyway, got the laundry machine, which is really key. Didn't know about that at the time. Got the water heater as well. I don't know why it's over here. And then here's the rest of the place. 35 bucks a night, really nice. Uh, I don't know, every year it changes in terms of price fluctuation, but it's 32 square meters and it's perfect. I mean, really wish I had a condo out here. I can just call home, put some of my pictures up on the walls, really make it my own place. It does get pretty hot in here and we are only on the fifth floor. It's as high as the building gets and there is no pool. And also it's about a 10 minute walk to one of the malls, which is where we're going. Today we're going to... Uh, we're gonna walk around some of the malls. Uh, I really do love watching the movies here for my research in animation. So we'll do that and I'll show you around. Here's Terminal 21. It's built like an airport. Each floor is a different country, uh, which is very, very cool. Just the themes, again, very Instagram worthy. There's little things everywhere. This is the female section, one of the floors. So you can see all sorts of really cool stuff. Like that shirt is awesome. You're paying a little more versus the open air markets, but for air conditioning, I think that's priceless. So you're looking at 200 baht, which is about six bucks, seven dollars for these graphic tees. Most will pay is 10 bucks. Oh man, that's so cheap. You can find some very interesting shirts that say very interesting things. And uh, yeah, you can try things on like they're trying on right there in public. <laughs> And this guy, I'm following this guy, He's, he seems to know where the fashion trends are with this uh, cool tank top. There's things I want to say, but I will not. <laughs> I'm not really sure if he's looking for clothing or for uh, his future wife. There, he found some tank tops. Very cool. $3. Super cheap. Chicago Bulls, and then you got Looney Tunes on the same shirt. So, cool mashup. There's <laughs> a lot of knockoff stuff here, too. For AC, like I said, it's pretty sweet. Uh, and... You got a good mix of tourists and uh, lots of shopping to be had. You do have your, your usual chain retail. That's, uh, it's funny how these backpackers are just standing in the middle of everybody's way. <laughs> but yeah, you get the idea. Lots of cute dresses, lots of cool lighting. The bathrooms on each floor are also very interesting, worth checking out. And if you can't go to Japan, you can just go to Terminal 21. They've got another outlet in Pattaya. So I already started eating this. Sorry, I'll show you a picture of it before, but this is a, a very popular fast food chain, Japan. And that's one really great thing here is that you can get awesome Japanese food. 
in Bangkok. They must be brothers and sisters. This is the pork cutlet with egg omelet and the curry sauce. I'm just destroying it. It looks so gross now, doesn't it? This is the best butter chicken. I can't believe it. My Airbnb is just a block away. I must eat it. Where are we? This is the Rembrandt Hotel. Wow, okay. Gotta keep that in mind. Because Rembrandt must have loved curry and butter chicken. Yeah, Lucifer Bar and Massage. That's the perfect name for place. Oh, they're already closed. Darn it. I wanted to get a massage and a beer at the same time. Friend took me to uh, Monet's art piece. This is a pretty cool installation of, I don't know, 20 projectors. A lot of interesting other artists there too. So if you're intro to contemporary art, if you're new to the art scene, then yeah, this is a very cool exhibition. It's just temporary. That's still kind of neat to see. And then some other artwork as well. I like these boxy ones, They're very expressive. Some landscapes too, and the different galleries here. So this is the Viva River City. You can also take a boat and jump on for a dinner cruise and buffet. It's not very expensive. I think it's something like twenty, thirty dollars, and you go up and down the Chapaya River. So you'll see a lot of tourists in this area as they're jumping on and off boats. Particularly the Chinese, they seem to really love water and buffets. I guess. <laughs> But yeah, there's the mall. And now we're walking. Oh yeah, we're gonna go to Chinatown too. Typical traffic in Chinatown, or just in general. Rush hour is pretty rough. So it starts from four to about nine, I would say. But this is the epic Chinatown, legit. Chinese people came here over a hundred years ago and they weren't allowed to work in agriculture. So they end up working in business and retail. So some of the richest and Thais uh, have Chinese ethnicities. This guy's so cool. Just flipped a uh, omelet, no problem. It's like, whatever. I have a really love-hate relationship with Chinatown, partly because you're getting food and you have to wait in line for it, and you're also next to all these cars. So, yeah, it's good for a couple hours, I'd say, max. The food is good, though. Uh, very nice food. And this is the line. It just gets crazier and crazier each year. But the food is, like I said, amazing. So there's some pork, some more pork. I'm just getting hungry looking at this stuff. Man, oh, it's a buck fifty or so for each of these dishes. Man, and then the dessert, which is also about a buck. And there it is, I love this. It's called Lok, Lok Chong. And then just more food. Look at this dude. I don't know how this guy is holding up. I mean, his back must be killing him and his head. Is this even, does that neck even, <laughs> I don't know. But very authentic. There's these little side roads that you should totally check out. And here is the famous Khao San Road. This is the entrance way. And it's become like a loop. You can see both sides of it. And uh, you can get in easily, but it's very difficult to get out, as I experienced. If you're trying to get out, you know, these taxi drivers will uh, take you for a ride. They always like to have set payments. It's always double or triple. So don't pay more than 200 baht to get out of there. Ideally, though, you want to get the meter, and that's only probably 100 baht to get out. But they're not—they're uh, not budging, man. They're gangsters. Lots of these open patio, nightclubish scenes. I did not know that uh, Thais eat crocodile. <laughs> so a lot of the stuff here that you can eat—scorpions, um, you know, spiders—that that's not usually in the diets of most Thai people. But you can see there's tons and tons of tourists. This is the place, uh, every night is busy. So you can go there on a Sunday and you'll still have a great time with all these other tourists. So there's just bars everywhere and a lot of massage spots. And so you're paying 200, 300 baht, six to $10 for a one hour or half hour foot massage, which is really nice when you're walking. Busiest area, two clubs right next to each other. It's epic. And then people walking around selling bracelets <laughs> and ethnic gear as well. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty wild. Uh, depending on what month, you could get busier. So here are the two malls. The Prom Pong BTS line. They're uh, two of the newest malls. But there's always new malls coming out. Uh, so we have the Emporium. Courtier 
on both sides of this uh, BTS station. They're both very beautiful, uh, beautiful shopping malls. It gets really crowded on the weekends and they've got some shows that are out in the atrium here. Here's the VIP bathroom, which is amazing. Okay, maybe not this hand dryer, but look at the bat, like the toilets even have bidets. I love bidets, amazing. I always try to watch a movie and we got blankets and these amazing chairs. Paid a little more, was it worth it? Probably not. But if you only have a tank top and shorts, then yes, having a blanket is very, very useful because the AC is blasting in these theaters. And as you can see, I mean, these theaters are built as experiences. So you go there early, you play on your phone, sit there, be seen. <laughs> Motorbike taxi, again, the fastest way to get around town, but still, like I said in the previous video, incredibly dangerous, but they're paid to do what they do. And so the roads are pretty predictable. Uh, just don't jump on a motorbike yourself and start driving, thinking that you'll be okay. You see so many tourists messed up on their trips. This is legit street food. Look at that. Next to a sewer. Nowhere to sit. We're sitting next to this lady. 200 baht, six, seven bucks for these giant prawns, garlic, amazing. Uh, launch before I take off. This is the SRT, like I said previously. How you get in and out. This guy with a whistle, though. Man, he just loves the whistle. Perfect guy for the job. This is, this is ushering me to the uh, entrance to the train. And there's the train. It's about a dollar to get to the airport. Super cheap. Um, kind of picked a bad time. As you can see, it's uh, standing room only. And this is the local food court. It's on the first floor at the very end of the airport. That's the walkway entrance in. I used to love eating there, but then I realized my palate built up and it's just really very, very Western palate. Not heavy on the garlic, not heavy on the spices. So it's all right though, if you want cheap airport food. So what's my verdict for uh, Bangkok? Like I said before in all my other videos, city scores drop heavily for the most populated city of any particular country and I would say the same for this. That's why this video series, it's just two days, it's just two videos. Get in and get out, see some stuff, get the heck out of there. Go enjoy the less concrete jungle, all the tourists that are just built up in Bangkok. Uh, Bangkok is great for, you know, <laughs> staying cool. Get into a mall, watch some movies. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm just old. City score, two days. Um, I would give it 10 out of 10, it's an A+. But don't stay there any longer unless you've got a reason to. Move on. If you are gonna stay there, it's exponentially important that you stay somewhere on the BTS or SRT or MRT line, otherwise you're gonna uh, run into some issues. Going in and out in the day and going back, you know, and then cleaning up and going back out. You know, it gets tiring if you gotta take taxis that take two hours each time. So, you know, that being said, Take this as a guide, use it as you can. Um, hopefully, we'll see you in Bangkok sometime. Uh, there'll be more videos, more updates, more themes to Bangkok since class is out early. Professor Pete, LSC. We'll see you in the next video.